This morning in our Saturday sessions, it's been a busy year so far for singer-songwriter Anderson Pack. In February, he won his first Grammy Award for Best Rap Performance. In April, he released his fourth studio album, and this month, he begins a national tour headlining Madison Square Garden next Thursday. We'll hear some of his new music in just a moment, but first, I had the chance to talk with Anderson Pack here in New York. One in the head, one in the back, bubbly. Look at the cash, look at the cash coming in. You can hear a world of influences in Anderson Pack's music. Meet me at the hotel motel. Though we got a room at home, go to a place that we don't know so well. The foundation of me is like funk, gospel, soul music, you know. Growing up, my mom was listening to like Frankie Beverly and Earth, Wind & Fire. Mm -hmm. But my sisters were into like Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, New Edition. I grew up in a house full of women, so uh, I was just uh, trying to keep the peace, and, uh, you know. <laughs> one in the hand, one in the bed, Pac grew up in Oxnard, California. You didn't have an easy childhood. Yeah, my pops, you know, battled with drug abuse, and uh, there was domestic abuse with my mom, and I saw a lot of craziness, and then he went off to jail. I never got to really, you know, develop, like, a, a relationship with him right. uh, before he passed away. How did you respond to that? I mean, how did, how did you feel about it? Uh, I put everything into music, and yeah. I think there was a part of me that uh, didn't want people to, like, pay too much attention. Yeah. So I kind of just was like, everything's cool, man, you know? I yeah. just put the smile on and was like, everything's yeah. all right. But then his mother That's ended up in jail, man. too, go for tax-related reasons. Yeah. How old are you at this point? I was, like, 18. Wow. Yeah, I was That's 18. That's a lot for an 18-year-old. Yeah, but I feel like some people are just built for more things yeah. than others. And, um, were you stronger than you thought you were? Yeah, for sure. You know, I didn't, I wasn't the type to just break down and just be like, okay, I'm just gonna be a bum and just, that's it. Yeah. Um, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be a square now, I'm gonna get a job. All you wanna do is talk hearts. Pac struggled to make ends meet, but his heart was always in music. He launched his career as Breezy Lovejoy before deciding he needed a different identity. Playing around with his given name, Brandon Pack Anderson, he came up with Anderson Pack. It sounds prestigious, you know, like it sounds like legit, you know? <laughs> and uh, I put the dot just to give it a little bit of mystery and a little bit of like extra. You know, I can't do anything regular for some reason, so <laughs> I put the dot, and I was like, okay, it'll always remind me of detail and how we got to this point. It was late in the fall, I caught a glimpse of my first love. As Anderson Pack, buzz started to build. Then, Dr. Dre heard his song, Suede. Suede on the inside, candy paint, candy paint. I ain't gotta tell you what the rims look like. He didn't know who I was, and I had to kind of show and prove. And so I got in the studio with him, and I closed my eyes, hopped on the mic, and did blah, 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 da, 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 Opened my eyes, and Dre was like, woo! <laughs> you got that pain, like, you lit. Pac has never looked back. And he's a father now, too. As someone who essentially didn't have a father, yeah. Just, how do you look at fatherhood then? Uh, I feel like I'm learning. I got two boys, and my, my, my boy is smarter, faster, stronger, and he sees everything I do. I can't fool him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't fool my wife, and I can't fool my eight-year-old son. That'll you know, keep you honest. It keeps me super honest. 